By David Leask. She was the first MP elected in Scotland's dark, winter general election. And the first thing she did was to praise the man she had just unseated. At half one in the morning of Friday, December 13, the SNP's Margaret Ferrier paid tribute to her Labour opponent, Ged Killen. We disagree on what Scotland's future should be, Ferrier told exhausted activists gathered in an East Kilbride sports hall for the count, but, on behalf of the constituency, thank you for being our voice for the last two years. Back in 2017, Killen had narrowly wrenched the seat. Rutherglen and Hamilton West, from Farrier. Earlier, in 2013, as a 26-year-old rookie politician he had beaten her in a South Lanarkshire council by-election. The pair, therefore, have electoral history. So Farrier's gesture was appreciated. I thought it was a nice thing to do, Killen told the Herald on Sunday as he reflected on his loss. People like to see their politicians being magnanimous, they like to see us trying to show where the common ground is especially these days, when much of politics is so divisive. Welcome to the too often ignored reality of Scottish politics, that despite a mood music of shrill and partisan rhetoric on social and mainstream media, it is mostly local and it is mostly civil. Ferrier and Killen have been working against each other, and yet, also, effectively, alongside each other, for seven years. They are both from the place they represent and have no plans to go anywhere else. And that, election watchers suggest, sets the tone of their contest, even if they wanted to, there would be no point in running a nasty or bad faith campaign, it would just come back and bite them. This is the case all across Scotland. A detailed analysis carried out by the Herald of the Backgrounds of 59 MPs elected north of the border shows the vast majority have a strong personal link to their seat. More than half of them, 32, went to secondary school either in their constituency or in a neighbouring one. Killen went to Trinity High in Rutherglen and has stayed in the area since he was a toddler. Ferrier went to Holyrood Secondary just across the border in Glasgow. She has lived in the constituency for more than 20 years. On top of the 32 locally schooled MPs, another eight were educated in the general region they represent. Four of those had lived in the constituency for more than a decade before they were elected. Another 10 MPs who had no schooling in or near their constituencies had clocked up more than 10 years in their seats before they ran for office. They include three MPs born outside Scotland. Belfast native Philippa Whitford, the SNP MP for Central Ayrshire, was a surgeon in the hospital serving the constituency for 18 years before she was first elected in 2015. Edinburgh East's Tommy Shepherd, also for more on this story, visit the news article link.